now. This is the third basket I chose because every house in England would have had a basket to go shopping. Everybody would have shopped. The butcher would have had a white basket, but most people would have had a really strong basket. You can see, you could fill this with potatoes, it would never fall apart. Now the interesting thing about this basket too, it is made with three different colours of willow. And you might wonder how this works. Well, when you cut willow, it looks like this, which is a natural willow with the bark on it. But they discovered in England that they much preferred to have white willow for things that were in the kitchen, hospital baskets. And to make white willow, you had to peel the willow when it was growing. So that happened to be in the spring when the sap was rising. And they would have terrific parties. In fact, I believe the schools were let off and the children would strip the willow. You know, we'd even got a dance called Strip the Willow. And that was a huge thing in England, to strip the willow and make white willow. They could only do it in the spring. Well then, as time went on, they discovered that if they left it lying in the water, the bark would become loose. And so then, brilliantly, they decided that if they boiled it and steamed it in a big steamer, the bark would become loose and they could strip the bark off without any problem. In fact, they even put it, hold it on a machine now and it beats it off. And so this is what we call buff willow. And the reason it's buff, you might wonder why, because it's white if you do it in the spring, but when you do it any time of the year, the bark has dye in it. And the dye in the willow bark makes the white willow, which is inside, buff. And so, magically, it, buff, it dies itself. So we have white willow, and we have buff willow, and then we have the natural willow, which is growing in the hedges. So it's interesting. And of course, it's a very, very, very strong and tough basket. You would, this would last you for years. And a very, it's a very traditional English basket. And um, I, I believe they still make them. I think I got this one when I was in England in about the 1980s. So I hope they still make them. You'll never have to get this mended. It would last you.